Everybody loves Raymond. Because he's the everyman we can all relate to. But he's not the only one we love. Every character from the independent and vocal Deborah to the mopey Eeyore Robert. We love them all. Because this show had everything. It was hilarious, sweet, and clever, with some high-quality, cringe-worthy family drama promised every week. A bunch of dysfunctional relatives living hectic lives. We got to watch this goofy cast for nine seasons. So what did they get into after being related barones? I'm Nostalgic Nick for Do You Remember? And today, we'll find out what happened to this fabulous cast, who helped make this one of the highest-ranking sitcoms of all time. If you enjoy this nostalgic rewind, hit that thumbs up button for us and subscribe to our channel for even more throwback content. But for now, let's get started before Marie and Frank barge in uninvited. Ray Romano. Bumbling, mostly well-intentioned, and kind of whiny, Ray Barone's something of a mama's boy. But he is very endearing and just wants a simple life. Too bad his parents live across the street and his living room is frequented by his brother too. A perfect recipe for comedy. I gotta say, the counseling doesn't seem to be working. Real life is the best source of inspiration, and after Ray Romano killed in his set on Letterman, CBS approached him about a sitcom. So Ray met with eventual co-creator Philip Rosenthal, who was fresh off writing for the sitcom Coach, and the two created the dynamics of this show based off their own families. Romano's two brothers combined for Robert. Phil's parents were the model of Marie and Frank. Even Phil's own wife acted in the show as Robert's eventual wife, Amy. Six lead actor Emmy nominations later, and Ray and Phil had created one of the greatest shows of all time. Everybody knew Ray. Even young audiences knew his voice as Manny, the woolly mammoth in Ice Age. Uh, what? What? I can't hear you. You're standing on my trunk. Oh. <laughs> Since then, he created and starred in TNT's comedy Men of a Certain Age. Ray's got dramatic chops, too, co-starring in HBO's 2016 show about the 70s music scene called Vinyl, then appearing in Martin Scorsese's crime epic The Irishman. At 63 years old, he's still on TV all the time, starring in the TV rendition of Get Shorty since 2017. Offset, Ray doesn't fold easy. He's competed in the World Series of Poker seven times, and when he's not acting or betting, he enjoys enjoys quality time with his wife and kids. More than we can say about Ray Barone. Patricia Heaton. Kids, go downstairs, mommy's yelling. That happened a lot in the Barone household. Deborah basically had to run the show, taking care of four children. Well, three, but Ray counts as a fourth sometimes. And dealing with his overbearing family. Especially Marie, who always knows a better way to do things. Nominated seven times and winning twice, Heaton's Deb was a rock in Raymond's messy life. Her first break was in six episodes of ABC's dramatic look at counterculture, 30-something. Then she was a series staple on two short-lived sitcoms, Room for Two in 1992 and Women of the House in 95. After that, the world would come to know her as Deborah. She was the first cast member to win an Emmy. Not surprising why Brad Garrett called her the show's anchor. When Raymond ended, Patricia decided, ah, eh, let's add on one more hugely successful family sitcom and starred in The Middle. In her early 60s, Heaton is also a humanitarian, partnering with World Vision to uplift people out of poverty around the globe. Brad Garrett, a secret dancer with a crazy chin. Robert Barone towered over everyone in the Barone family, but Mother Marie still overlooks him in favor of Ray. It's the source of a lot of humor, but you do have to feel bad for the guy sometimes. Robert was supposed to be four years older than Ray, but Brad is actually two years younger. Similar to Romano, Brad got his start in stand-up comedy in the early 80s. At six foot nine, he obviously got his start in the wrestling ring. Well, his voice did. As he voiced Hulk Hogan on Saturday mornings, Hulk Hogan's Rockin' Wrestling. And my country and I, thank you. Hey, the pleasure was ours, your highness. Then he voiced Trypticon in 1986's Transformers cartoon. I mean, his voice is incredible. But his first live-action break was Robert Barone, a character that won him three Emmy Awards. Garrett knew right away that this script was something special, and he leaned especially hard into Robert's signature deep voice. You know, the kid thing. You and Deborah. Where'd you hear that? It's all over the yard. 
Brad still does a bit of it all. His voice highlighted as Dim the Rhinoceros Beetle in A Bug's Life? Or what about Bloat the Pufferfish in Finding Nemo? In 2002, Brad got the great opportunity to portray the legendary Jackie Gleason. Garrett shares a lot with Ray Romano, including being proficient at poker, as he entered the main event at the World Series of Poker in 2009. Today, at 60 years old, he was most recently part of the ABC sitcom Single Parents. Doris Roberts. What have I done that you feel the need to destroy me? <laughs> With these words, it was game on between Marie and Deborah. Raymond's overbearing mother could say a lot with just a look, but she still said a lot too. Mostly jabs at her daughter-in-law about her cooking or housework. Basically everyone's nightmare mother-in-law. Deborah insisted on cooking a fish, so I cooked a turkey in case people want to eat. <laughs> Doris Roberts was something of a powerhouse too. Brad Garrett admitted that Doris was the only cast member who could actually outdrink him. Her career spans 65 years and her catalog has something for everyone. Feeling festive? Check her out in National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation and our deep dive into that cast too. But she has also become a major advocate for her peers. Ageism was alive and well in the entertainment industry and Roberts spoke in front of a congressional panel about the issue. She also fought for animal rights and marriage equality. After a long and fruitful career, she passed away at the age of 90 in 2016. Everyone who knew her had a reason to mourn. Peter Boyle Are you enjoying this cast rewind? Well, let me tell you about Korea. Gruff, crude, hilarious Frank Barone would bring up war stories just about any time. Marie didn't want to hear anything about it, and he didn't want to hear anything from Marie. Under all that tough guy attitude, he could be pretty caring in his own way. What's wrong? Shockingly, and though he was nominated seven times, Boyle was the only main cast member not to win an Emmy. Such a renowned actor before he joined Raymond. As Wizard, he was one of the most important parts of Scorsese's Taxi Driver. Ironically, compared to Frank Barone, he protested against the Vietnam War a lot, becoming fast friends with Jane Fonda. In 1974, Peter Boyle channeled his inner Brad Garrett and played Frankenstein's monster in Mel Brooks's Young Frankenstein. He was a terrific character actor, which is how he ended up in all three Santa Claus movies. First as Scott Calvin's boss, then as Father Time. And if you want more holiday movie wrecks, be sure to check out our top Christmas movie countdown. Peter Boyle actually suffered a heart attack on the set of Raymond in 1999. The scare brought Boyle back to his Catholic faith. His role in the Santa Claus 3 would be one of his last before dying from heart disease in 2006. He was 71 years old. Monica Horan. Amy McDougall's relationship with Robert was a roller coaster from day one. Their chemistry began by eating canned cookie dough like a banana and led to a pretty creative marriage proposal. Horan risked nepotism claims as she's married to the show's co-creator, but she proved her worth with her comedic timing and compatibility with Brad Garrett. Many of the show's best moments were inspired by Monica and Phil's marriage, from the tuna can incident to Deborah's mood plummets. Horan hasn't had a huge role since her Amy, but she did get to reunite with Patricia Heaton on an episode of The Middle in 2017. In her late 50s, she loves what the series provided for people needing something good to forget their troubles with. You can check her out in series two of the Netflix travel show, Somebody Feed Phil, on the episode Dublin, where Phil travels the world in search of delicious foods and interesting people. You'll get to meet the real life Marie and Frank too, who are of course hysterical. The Kids For the start of the show, Allie and her brothers didn't do much besides exist. Madeline Sweeten played the quintessential young girl trying to get through school and figure out how to talk to boys, much to Ray's chagrin. When the show ended, she felt directionless, like a lot of child stars. Many lose themselves to drugs and alcohol. Just check out our biggest child stars of the 1970s video for more on that. Luckily, Sweeten quickly turned things around, doing voice work for shows like JoJo's Circus. Today at 29 years old, she's happily married and the two have their own theater company, The Loft Ensemble. 
Her twin brothers on the show named Gregory and Matthew are her real life siblings, Sawyer and Sullivan Sweeten. Tragedy did strike the Raymond cast in 2015 when 19 year old Sawyer Sweeten took his own life with a self inflicted gunshot wound. His death devastated his real family. Weeks after, Madeline urged everyone to reach out to loved ones and give them no doubt of what they mean to you. If you or someone you know is struggling with depression and thoughts of suicide, call the Suicide Prevention Hotline at 1-800-273-8255. Raymond Barone said it himself, laughter is the best medicine. And Everybody Loves Raymond definitely provided a lot of that, even sometimes just with a look. With an all-star cast like this, you can't go wrong. So who was your favorite character from this amazing sitcom? What's a great episode that you remember? Was it a classic Frank and Marie bickering match? Or the time Deborah got the curling iron stuck in her hair? Share your fondest memories in the comments below. We love hearing from you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss a throwback video. From all of us here at Do You Remember, thanks for watching. Everybody loves Raymond.